Become your strength. Release your limitless potential. Welcome to another idea video. So in today's idea video, I want to talk about authenticity. And I want to give you three tips on how to be more authentic. Okay, so that's coming up. First off, I want to share with you a quote that I think is really beautiful and very concrete in terms of what authenticity is all about. And it goes like this. Authenticity rides on the back of not caring what other people think. Basically says that if you don't care what other people think, then you're able to express your internal world freely without fear. You have the ability to say what you want, you can do what you want, and you always trust your inner truth to guide you in the right direction. On the opposite side, when you care what other people think about you, you put filters on your mind. And by doing this, you actually filter out all of the thoughts, all of the actions that don't fit with the normal or the cool version of yourself that you're trying to, to maintain, the version that you're trying to be in order to fit in. Basically what you're doing is you block out a lot of your energy. You block out your creativity and your authenticity and you turn yourself into a robot. Why would you ever want to be authentic? It's because it will make your life a whole lot easier. I mean, imagine a life where you don't need to lie at all. You don't feel anxious about how you look or what you say. And you're very open and honest about who you are and what you feel. What happens when you are authentic is that you gain the ability to influence other people in a very, very powerful way. I mean, who doesn't love people who can express their thoughts and their feelings freely in the moment? Who doesn't love people who can be open, honest, spontaneous, fun, and have this really magnetic atmosphere around them all the time. Who doesn't want to be with people like that? You know what? Let's find out how you can turn into such a person and superbly change your life for the better. Shall we get into the ideas that can help you to be more authentic? Yeah, I think so. Tip number uno is to take action. Uh, some time ago, I actually read this book called The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. And one of the things he really emphasized a lot in this book was to take action. If you don't take any type of action, you won't have any confidence. And it's the same with authenticity as well. It's like authenticity and confidence, they actually go hand in hand in your journey. Now, I want to invite you to do this little exercise with me. So try to think about something that you genuinely would love to do, but you're a little bit afraid of doing it at the same time. What is this? What, what, what type of activity are you, would you love to do, but you're still afraid of? And now it's up to me to say, go ahead and do it. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go out and do base jumping or swimming with sharks the very first day, but here's a very short example of what you can do. If you, for example, don't feel like you can be your truest self, your most authentic self around a certain person, then try to be 1% more authentic every time you meet this person from now on. In that way, you will over time gradually let go of these this social conditioning, these filters that you have in your mind and you will, your authenticity will take on wings and fly like a bird and take shape, <laughs> okay? Take action and do it gradually. Tip number two, do not pretend that you are someone you're not. A lot of people think that they have to inhibit this really cool and charismatic character if they want to impress a girl, if they want to impress a guy or the boss at their job interview or something like that. But what you need to know is that there's a difference between trying to be authentic and actually being authentic. You can never be authentic if you just try. It's the same with a child trying to be a grown-up. The child will never magically transform into a grown-up by pretending to be one, right? So it's very easy, it's very simple. You have two choices. You can be authentic or you can not be authentic. When you simply are yourself, it's very, very easy to build connections with other people because you are congruent 
in the things that you say and the things that you do. People familiarize you and perceive you as a very open and honest person if you are like that, if you simply are yourself. <laughs> so it's very simple to be authentic. Just be yourself. There's nothing wrong in turning the energy knob of your personality up and down here and there. But don't try to exaggerate by being someone else, okay? 99% of the time, this won't bring you any good. Tips number three are to take a dusch. Sorry guys, Norwegian is really hard to get rid of. Tip number three is to keep your content real. So this is a tip that is meant for all the people out there who are creating something. And I don't, don't care if you're creating uh, videos, music, relationships, food. This tip is specifically meant for you who are out there to create. If you create things that you love, you might eventually want to make a living off what you love to do, right? And on that journey towards achieving this way of living, it's very easy to forget your passion, to forget your your authenticity and the, the things that you love. Instead of creating content that you deeply care about, creating content that is real, you create content just for the sake of making money. When you do this, you come from a place of neediness, from a place of fear, and what you essentially end up doing is pushing your content into other people's faces. It's like, go and buy my product, it's so great, blah blah blah, right? <laughs> That's what you turn into, like a monster. And I've been experiencing this here on my channel as well. I've been standing in front of the camera sometimes without any clarity of intention of what I what I care about or what I want to create. And this is how it goes. I stand in front of the camera, I feel uninspired, I feel demotivated, and I push some nonsense into your ears and into your eyes. And the reason why I do this sometimes is because I come from a place of fear. I come from a place of, of forcing things to happen because I believe that oh I have to do this because if I don't do this I will not be successful. And does that work? Do you think this works? Does this sound authentic to you? No it doesn't, right? If I come from this place you won't feel any type of inspiration when you're watching my videos. You won't have any get any type of value from my videos and more importantly I won't feel happy with myself. So how can you keep your content real although you're on this journey towards making a living off it at the same time? How can you fill your creations with passion and authenticity? How do you do that? Well you can start by asking yourself these two questions. First one is, what makes you feel the most alive? And the second one, what do you love about the people that you admire the most? Feel free to write your answers down on the sheet of paper if this gives you any better sense of clarity, okay? So if what you're feeling and what you're writing down aligns with what you're currently doing, then you're most likely doing a great job. You're creating content that is aligned with positive feelings, with authenticity, with realness. If your answers don't align with what you're writing down on this paper, then you might want to change things up a little bit, okay? Ask yourself, how can you put these feelings of admiration, love, authenticity into the work that you're doing? How can you do that? And then go on from there and do some experiments, okay? So yeah, that's the end of this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you liked this video or any of my other videos. If you have any questions or requests, then feel free to share that down in the comments below and I'll answer you there. Uh, and I also hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential as always. Thank you for watching, stay tuned. Bye.